Hello, today I'll be teaching you partial quotient division. Step one is 652 divided by four. So first we draw what looks like a hangman bolt. And we place the dividend in the middle and the divisor on the outside. 652 is the dividend and the divisor is four. So there are lots of different ways you can solve the problem to get the answer. So we're going to draw two problems. Next, pull out groups of four. For example, you can pull out 100 groups of four, or you could pull out 50 groups of four. Place the number of groups on the outside and the total that was pulled out on the inside below the original number. So four times 100 equals 400. And on the right, we're going to do four times 50 equals 200. Subtract the total number you just pulled out from the dividend. So on this side, it will be 652 minus 400 and 652 minus 200. The problem on the left will give you 252. The problem on the right would give you 452. Pull out more groups of four. For example, you can pull out 50 groups of four for the problem on the left and get a total for 200. For the problem on the right, you could also pull out 50 groups of four. So four times 50 equals 200. And four times 50, again, equals 200. Subtract again. Subtract the total number you just pulled out. 252 minus 200 equals 52. And for the right, 452 minus 200 equals 252. And this side is 52. Again, pull out more groups of four. For example, we could pull out 10 groups of four for the problem on the left and another 50 groups for the problem on the right. So four times 10 equals 40. 40 minus 52 and four times 50 equals 200, 252 minus 200. Subtract. So the problem on the left would give you 12 and the problem on the right would give you 52. Pull out three more groups of four for the problem on the left for a total total of 12. Pull out 10 groups of 4 for the problem on the right for a total of 40. Subtract. 12 minus 12 equals 0 and 52 minus 40 equals 12. The problem on the right needs one more step to be finished. Pull out the three groups of four for a total of 12 and subtract. And as you can see, your remainder is zero for each problem. Last of all, add all of the numbers on the right to get the quotient. Okay, 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 10 plus three and 100 plus 50 plus 10 plus 3. That would give us a total of 163. The quotient is 163. Thank you for watching. <laughs>